Android. All right, everybody. I know you guys have read the title. This is actually a very important announcement that I have to make. I know I haven't been uploading in a while, and that actually is something I do want to talk to you guys about, and I'm kind of afraid. I mean, some of you guys already know, but I do want to talk to you guys about it for the ones that don't even know what's going on. But before I even talk about it, there's also been another problem that has happened, and it drove me nuts. It got me very angry, to be honest. But basically, one of the problems is is YouTube. Another thing was Cody Barrett. So I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about both of them today. There's been also another problem related to Minecraft recently, which I will also be talking to you guys about in a little bit as well. And there's also something that I also want to share with you guys. This something really amazing, and I hope that I can actually be able to live stream it when the when the problem actually ends. So let's get this started. Well, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is like the new YouTube policy. I'm actually going to leave a screenshot right here, but the original link will be in the description down below in case you guys want to read a whole page out of it. it has all the information on it, but from what I know is that there's actually a new rule onto YouTube which kind of made me mad and believe it or not Funtime Freddy Fan 2000 and Couple Fiend 50 deleted all their videos and live streams just because of this stupid rule so basically what the rule is is from what I heard of is that basically there's actually something called like the I think the children's content compared to the adult content and they have they actually have to be in some type of category for every YouTube video you upload which means if I actually make a mistake I'll actually have to pay forty two thousand dollars to the YouTube company for that one single mistake and FNAF Armors actually told me that there's actually some type of website where we can actually at least sign like sign it so we can actually avoid this YouTube policy which I will probably also leave in the description down below it's gonna be tough to put all these links down there because I've been very stressed out recently from this from the from the new rules it's driving me nuts all right so if you remember if you guys want to see or read the whole thing I'll leave a link in the description down below to the YouTube page so you can read the all the policies maybe you can actually save your YouTube channel by reading all of it. But, you know, there's always a way to avoid it, though. So, let's just hope that my channel does not get terminated because of this stuff. And I don't want to have to pay $42,000 because I don't even have that type of money. And they're crazy. They're like, they're like money cows. But, anyways, let's move on to the next problem. The next problem is... I'm very sorry, but the next problem is Cody Barrett. Cody Barrett lied to her whole fan base. In case you guys have not heard. Cody Barrett lied to the fan base. She lied to the crew. She lied to everyone. And it really disappointed me. And for all the Cody Barrett fans out there. I'm sorry. But she's been fired from the crew. And if you guys actually want to attack me. I mean go ahead. I mean I'm not going to reply to the comment. I'm not trying to be mean here. But it's the truth. She lied. She lied about everything, and it really hurt me. Throughout all these three whole years with her, she lied to us this entire time, and it made me so upset. She lied about her age. She's not exactly 16, in case you guys know. She's actually 10 years old. I mean, on her old channel, which is called Kimberly Barrett, she actually said that her birthday was on the on 2008 she was born on 2008 so which means she's actually 10 years old this today and it's making me wonder like why does she lie why does she lie to the fan base and why does she lie to us and here's the thing i found out from someone named lefty saying that she actually used you guys she used the fans just to get famous 
she's been sub begging and she's doing sub for sub. In case you guys do not know what that is, sub begging and subs for sub is like begging someone to subscribe to her. And she will only subscribe to people if they subscribe to her. And I'm being I'm being honest, Cody. I mean I saw FNAF Warmers this post and it also brought it to my attention too. I just can't believe you lied to everybody, Cody. Why did you do it? I'm, I've been really upset. That's why you've been fired from the crew. And here's the thing. Lefty had actually gone into the Funtime crew chat to explain us everything about what exactly happened. So I got all this information from Lefty. So shout out to you, Lefty, for helping us. So here's the thing. Lefty was actually a really good person for showing us this. So she might actually be the new crew member of the Funtime crew. But I'm not 100% sure because I still have to figure things out before I actually start going up ahead. But Cody Bear lied to her fans. And i that is why I've been seeing a lot of rants on her. I, I mean, I've seen her attack other people too. Like g -Turf, which is one person. I've seen Sniping Pikachu get attacked as well. And she, had, she used her fans to attack people. I mean, you can't do that, Cody. You really can't do that. And you can't be, you can't be begging for subscribers. I mean, look at me and look at the other crew, the other crew members. We worked our butts off making our videos. We actually know how to edit, except for Golden, of course. Besides, he barely even makes any videos on his channel. But I still want to teach him how to edit. I mean, to be honest, I think he wants to learn how to edit. I mean, I don't blame him. Back then, I didn't know how to edit, but now I try. And now look at me right now. But, Cody, what I'm saying is, please stop attacking people. Stop using your fans to attack people. It's not right. I mean, you say you actually do work hard on your videos, but here's the thing. You don't even know how to edit. In fact, I actually gave you an app that you can actually edit, and you barely even use it, to be honest. And... It actually hurt me a little, to be honest, because I want you to be a successful YouTuber, but if you're not going to be editing, then I don't even know where it's going to get you. I mean, I was wondering why you have over 900 subscribers, and people were actually saying that you said the N-word. I'm sorry for bringing it up, but I'm, I'm being serious. But it really did sound like you did say it. I mean, it didn't sound like you said mega. You said you sound like you said mega, but when you... There's no way. There's no way you said mega. It really didn't sound like it. It really sounded like the N word. And I, I'm not. I'm not racist or anything. And I. I do love blacks and whites equally. I really do. I. I love a lot of people here, especially all the fans that I actually have. I'm not racist. I really love all my fans. But I'm being serious, Cody. It kind of really disappointed me. And I'm really sick and tired of it. I just can't believe you lied. And you shouldn't lie ever again. And here's the thing. She actually lied saying that it was her brother the entire time. Even though her brother had nothing to do with it. Your brother didn't even do anything, Cody. I only saw him in one video of yours. But, Cody. You can't be lying anymore. It really hurt me. That's why I... That's why I fired you from the crew. You lied to everybody this entire time. You could have told us the truth. I mean, if you told us the truth a little earlier, it would have been a possible chance for you to stay in the Fun Tank crew. I let the crew members have a vote if they wanted to keep you or not. And everybody said no. Almost everyone said no. Kick her out. I'm sorry. But it's the way it is, Cody. But you're not in the Fun Tank crew anymore. And... A lot of people are not going to forgive you. You've been losing subscribers recently. And for all the people that have been attacked by her, I'm really sorry for you guys. And you guys are really good people. I really did talk to some of you guys. Sniping Pikachu, Savage Sands, all of you guys. Plexa, I remember you before your channel, old channel got terminated. His name is Wolfen now. You guys are actually really good ranters. And I know you guys, some of you guys have actually checked out my channel. And you guys said I actually did really good. And I really do respect your opinions. You guys don't let your fans attack people. And I like people like you. 
But for Cody, she lets her fans go attack the person. Yet, I don't even like my own rants that I made before. Besides, those were actually... Those actually felt like insulted videos that I made. Which I wish I never... W didn't even want to make. I wish I didn't make those videos, to be honest. I probably might delete them someday. To get rid of them. But anyways... Cody, again, I'm very disappointed in you. I really hope that you... I hope you think about what you did. And think about what you did to the crew. Think about what you did to your whole fan base. Most of your friends actually legit blocked you on Discord and Hangouts. And I just can't believe you used them, Cody. Please, just think about it next time. And another thing I actually do want to point out, Cody, is for the fact that some of your videos are actually your own personal problems, Cody. You actually... I actually saw somebody who actually did a rant on you, and they actually said that you actually told everybody that your power went out and you're depressed because of it. Cody, I, I'm, what I'm actually trying to say is you're not depressed. You're actually sad for the fact that the power just went out, and you're kind of a little scared. You're not depressed. Besides, the power was always going to come back on. And another thing. I was also talking a little bit another time because I saw a video of yours saying that you're really depressed because your parents were fighting. That's actually your own personal problem, Cody. And here's the thing. I'm going to say this right now. I also did have a talk with the old Funtime Bonnie who, who used to be in the Funtime crew, but he's not anymore. And he actually said it was kind of dumb as well. Like, that's your own personal problem. You shouldn't be doing that. Uh, well, anyways. I'm actually done with Cody. So, we're actually going to move on to the next thing. Okay, so this one is actually going to get you guys really hyped for. So, for this announcement that I really want to make, you, you guys might be prepared. And you guys are going to get very excited once I tell you guys this. But, I heard from Vince Livings, or from Glowstick Entertainment, wherever you want to say, that the Dark Deception mobile release date has now been revealed. Which is somewhere around in December. This December. Which I am very excited for. And once the game actually comes out for mobile devices, I'm sure I'm going to live stream it on my phone. Since my phone is not exactly like, how can I say it, like 5 years old or more. I hope it, I bet it can actually run through the game. So if it actually runs through the game perfectly, I can be able to live stream for you guys. And I'm going to have so much fun running away from the enemies. And here's the thing. I am going to buy Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 once they come out. Well, I heard that Chapter 2 is going to be released. But here's another cool thing. I'm actually going to be showing you guys two screenshots that were also revealed for the chapters. For the mobile devices, which I am showing you guys right now. As you guys actually see, this is actually from the first chapter from Dark Deception. And just by looking at this teaser image, I have been extremely hyped for it because it looks so good. Like, seriously. Like, there's actually particles, like, on the screen that were not exactly on the PC version. Well, they might have been, but we, it was really hard to see them. And we can actually see that the map... It's actually on the top right corner. That way it's actually easy for us to see. And on the top left, that's actually for the pause menu, I, I'm i guessing. And we already got the joystick on the left side. And the graphics, they look so amazing. I'm extremely excited for Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 to be released. I'm going to be showing you guys the Chapter 2 teaser in a little while too. So I just want you guys to take a really good glimpse at this. And just by looking at it, it looks it looks like it's gotta be a really well made game for the mobile devices. And so this is actually the first teaser that was just released for the mobile devices. So teaser two, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys right now. As you guys actually see, this is actually Elementary Evil, and this got me way more hyped because there's actually been a new control on the bottom right too. Uh, mind the the image thing on the bottom right, the watermark on the bottom right. I actually got this image from YouTube, so I couldn't even 
find the actual Twitter page itself. So I actually have to use this for now. So that teaser right here, the graphics, I'm really happy for, to be honest. And there's a new button on the bottom right, as I was saying. It looks like the button that we actually use to use our powers. But here's the question. How do we switch our powers? That's what I'm trying to ask. That's what I'm thinking. What if there is, like, some type of way? Like, what if there's going to be a button, like, for the map that we actually have to use to actually switch the item? Or not the items, the, the powers, like the teleportation, the speed boost. I don't even know. Telepathy? The primal fear? Something like that. There could be some type of mechanic. Who knows? It, it could actually be, like, a little release or something. Something that I can actually, like, show us on how to switch them. Or maybe some type of tutorial on how we switch them. Hopefully, there's going to be a new trailer for the mobile devices. So, we can see how this is going to go. Because I am excited for this. I heard that some of the jump scares and some of the enemies are not going to be exactly like on the PC. I don't care. This is actually looking pretty good so far. I really do love this. I am loving this already. So... I just want to say, Glowstick Entertainment team, I just want to say good luck on the mobile version. And I I know this is going to be such an amazing thing for me to play on. But anyways, moving on to the next thing. The final thing is good old Minecraft. As you guys know, Minecraft is actually a game that I usually play on. And I usually make the Minecraft Dark Deception series on it and the Murder Mystery series. But in case you guys do not know... In case for the ones that haven't even realized, the, I haven't even made an episode out of any of them for the longest time. Because one, I've been busy building Dark Deception, Minecraft Dark Deception. And another reason has been driving me nuts. If you look on the bottom right on the Minecraft mobile version that I have, it's version 1.14.0.4. God, sorry, it's hard for me to say it sometimes. It's kind of like a tongue twister to me sometimes. But anyways, here that's the reason. That's the problem here. Version 1.14.0.4 is the problem. For once, I'm actually going to explain to you guys. There's bugs. There's bugs in the updates. And I can't switch it. I can't downgrade it. I can't even downgrade it at all. There's been a lot of bugs on the updates. For instance, like the skin bug. Like, if I were to record an episode... You, let's just say you'll be seeing a lot of me. A lot of Funtime Freddy's. Sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll become a different person. It's a weird bug that needs to be fixed. And, here's another thing. Some of the crew members, can they, can I even, they don't even have 1.14. They're still at 1.13 because it only came out for Android only. Some of the crew members have Windows 10 and iOS. So... That's a little hard. Sorry, I got allergies. It's driving me nuts. But, I know some of the fans have been asking for Chapter 4 of Minecraft Dark Deception. Or, not Chapter 4, Episode 4. Sorry, my bad. And, I've been trying to explain to everybody that I can't record an episode with this bug going on. It's been driving me nuts. Sometimes, when I play with Lobit, Sometimes it shows me played as her. And sometimes it shows like her played as me. Sometimes on her screen it says I played as her or her I or like her played as me. It's weird. It's a bug that needs to be fixed. But I'm sorry for everyone who's been wanting to see episode four. But here's the thing. Once I actually release episode four soon, I might premiere it for you guys. So that way we can all watch it together. Since it's going to be a long episode for me to watch. Or make, I should say. And we we still need to finish building Stranger Sewers. We have a continue on it because of all the bugs that we've been having. So, I hope this video makes you guys understand what's going on. And it's really hard. I'm telling you guys that. I've been stressed out trying to get this fixed. But I can't fix it. So... Because here's the thing, when I, if I downgrade Minecraft, I can't access my Dark Deception map. I had to go into 1.14 for it. 
and it makes me really upset thinking about it. But hopefully you guys actually understand that. Well, anyways, that's actually going to be all the announcements that I actually have for today. And I'm sorry for the lack of videos, everybody. I hope you guys actually understand everything. And I'm sorry that the problems have been going on, and I hope it actually ends soon. And I might, I hope I can actually make a video as soon as possible. But I want to thank you guys so much for listening to my announcement. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Drop a like on the video if you guys actually enjoyed. Don't forget to have a fun time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Just quietly calculating How we intend to get revenge to Maiden worry because I'm sure you'll be dead soon Keep delaying, but we're staying The tables haven't turned now